All right, now that we have all the internal frame pieces cut out of the mahogany, we're just going to uh, kind of dry assemble it around the piece. So here we go. Oh, man. Okay. What we want to do is just a spot of glue. You can always wipe off the excess after. Get a nice tight corner. And we're going to pin it together with a one inch brad. All right, once you have it nailed together, just check and make sure that it's square, or relatively square, and then set it aside to dry. The exterior of the frame is going to be built out of just finger joint poplar because I'm going to paint it, and uh, so it doesn't have to be anything fancy. My exterior frame ended up being 20 by 18? 16. By 16? Let's try that again. <laughs> okay. My interior frame, the outside dimensions of it, ended up being 20 by 16. So I wanted one inch reveal all the way around on the shadow. So the interior of my exterior frame needs to be 22 by 18. So I'm just going to go ahead and make those cuts and we'll get that going. plywood as the back of my shadow box and I cut it a little shy actually what it needed to be just so you can have a little room for expansion and I'm going to go ahead and install it with glue and a 5 8 inch staple I'm going to kind of square it up so I want to do this while the frame is still wet because that way it will help hold the frame square and because nobody's perfect the filler goes a long way, and I always like to put it in before I even do my first sanding. That way I can leave it clumpy and lumpy. Now the frame is pretty much dry, the mahogany frame, so I'm going to go ahead and sand it. I uh, filled all the holes and the edges. I'm going to sand it with 80 grit and then I'm going to drop down to 120 grit. With okay, so I sanded the frame. I left the edges square because I wanted to have more of a uh, kind of a modern look. And the most important thing in the shop is to uh, stay hydrated. I'm going to spray the outer frame now. I like to use a cup gun rather than a brush just because it's faster and I'm lazy. Also, uh, I'm using a flat black paint instead of a glossy black paint. I think glossy paints look cheap, so you use a flat or a satin and then you put a uh, glossier clear coat over the top. Before I put the last coat of black on the face of the frame, I flipped it over. And I'm going to put just a couple of little registration marks on the back of the frame so that I will know where the inner frame is sitting once I flip it over. Alright, now that I've got this sitting where it's going to sit inside of the box, I want to measure the reveal on my painting. I've got about an inch and a half, so I want to come about an inch inside here, and I, what I'm doing is I'm making a line where I can put a screw to hold the painting to the box. Putting the last coat of black on, I'm not opposed to using spray in a can, you just need to make sure you shake it good. I 
I've drilled a couple of holes, pre-drilled, and there's no shame in using a little hot glue to hold something still for a second. It's like a second set of hands. Put a couple of dollops of hot glue on there. I'm going to take the painting. I'm going to line it up with my marks over the top of the hot glue. And then press it down and hold it. Now I'm going to go through and just drill and countersink a few more holes to hold the mahogany frame in place. Got the mahogany inner frame put on. Everything looks pretty good. Got something soft down on the bench just so I don't scratch. And now I'm going to put the screws in to hold it in place. I've measured for a couple of D-rings. I like D-rings. And I'm going to install those. Short screws. Be careful not to over tighten. And then between those, I'm going to attach just a little piece of picture wire for the painting to hang from. And really, you just kind of loop it through once and then twist it around itself. Don't stretch it tight because the picture has to be able to hang. So you want to give yourself, you know, enough wire that it doesn't show through on top of the painting, but just a little bit of slack is nice. If my hands work, there we go. And then give this, you know, two or three twists, and then trim the edge off. That might be a little long. I shorten the wire, and then there you have it. A painting and a shadow box. Needs a little bit of dusting, a little bit of cleaning up, and it will look uh, beautiful hanging on your wall. <laughs>